How's it going guys? This is my tutorial on how to read your G1. This is how to downgrade the G1 way back to Stockware 1.5, which is what I am on now. I'm going to be showing you all the important steps it's going to take to root your G1 to Amin Ra's 1.5.2 recovery image. Right now, I am on firmware 1.5. To prove it to you, I'm going to go to my settings, about phone. As you can see, 1.5. If you have 1.6, it's okay, guys. You can still do this video. And first, what you want to do is download all the links in the description. And there's going to be three of them. Once you download those, you want to save them to your desktop. And that means you have to plug in your USB cable to your phone. So what you want to do, grab the USB cable, go to the bottom of your phone, plug it in. You should see this pop up. Hit USB connected and hit mount. Now what you want to do is go to your computer, guys. Alright guys, so once you're at your computer, what you want to do is go to start. Hit computer, which is right there, my computer. Let me hit that once again. And then you'll see this pop up. As you can see, there's going to be three disks. Mine's, mine is in removable disk E. It doesn't matter what yours says. So make sure nothing is on your SD card, guys. Just make sure nothing is on your SD card. Alright. So once you make sure nothing is on your SD card, guys, what you want to do is press back and then right click on your SD card, guys. And then what you want to do is press format. When you press format, this should pop up. What you want to do, go to file system, scroll down to FAT32, click on it, and then click start to, form to format your SD card to FAT32. Right now, mine is at FAT32, so I will not be doing that, but you guys will if you don't have FAT32. Once you have done that, open your SD card once again. Then drag in the two files, that the, the file that says original G1 SBL. Drag it into your SD card, guys. It should be an instant copy. So what you want to do now is right-click on it and press rename. Once you press that, what you want to rename it to is update. Update. If you're on a PC, then press enter. And then if you're on a Mac, it will be called update.zip. PCs will be called update. All you want to do now is safely eject your phone. Now go back to your phone. Alright guys, so once you're back at your phone, all you want to do is take out the USB cable. It will say preparing SD card. Let that go away. Power off your phone. Power off your phone. Hit power off. Hit OK. And let it shut down. When it's once it's shut down, what you want to do is hold the home and power at the same time till the G1 logo shows up. Once the G1 logo shows up, you can let go and it will show you a triangle with um, a punctuation and a T-Mobile G1 right next to it. All you want to do is open your keyboard hit alt and L so you can see the letters or the text hit alt and W to wipe your phone and hit alt and S to apply the update as you can see mine aborted if it if yours aborts then you will not be need you will not be need be needing to do this step. So all you have to do is skip it. So right now what you want to do is reboot your system by hitting home and back. So just hit home and back at the same time. Or you could just press that. And it will reboot your G1 phone and you will sign in to your Gmail account 
because you just swiped your phone which basically makes you start the G1 tutorial all over again alright guys so I'll be right back when I'm done alright guys so once you're back at your phone what you want to do is grab the USB cable go to the bottom of your phone plug in your USB cable let the USB logo show up hit USB connected hit mount and go to your computer guys alright guys so once you're back at your computer what you want to do right click on the RC 29 zip file scroll down to extract all you should see this pop up hit next hit next once again it's going to extract the RC29 file let that extract and it shouldn't take very long once it's done hit finish and there's going to be a file that's about to pop up there it is now grab the file that does not look like a file and open your removal disk which is your SD card once you open that drag in the one that says 3IMG.nbh it's going to copy to your SD card and it's not going to take very long as you can see it's only 10 seconds and it's going to be in just like right now so what you want to do delete the update file delete it we don't need it anymore once you delete it go back to your phone by safely ejecting your USB cable alright guys so once you're back at your phone what you want to do take out the USB cable it's going to say preparing SD card so power off your phone hit power off hit OK and let it shut down once again now we're going to be doing something different this time you want to hold down the camera button and the power button at the same time till you see a rainbow screen show up it's going to say loading checking it is going to show up what you want to do is press the power button and it's going to start the update I'll be right back when my update is finished